Theropods, 230 million years ago. These bipedal dinosaurs first appeared in the late Triassic, known for hollow bones and three-toed limbs. Coelurosaurs, 200 to 150 million years ago. Emerged during the Jurassic period, these were small to medium-sized theropods with feathers or similar structures. Maniraptors, 160 million years ago. Appeared during the late Jurassic. Many displayed bird-like features such as feathers and bird-like wrists. Aviali, 150 million years ago. This group includes Archaeopteryx, an early bird with both avian and reptilian features. Lived during the late Jurassic period. Ornithothoraces, 130 million years ago. This group emerged during the early Cretaceous period, representing a significant step towards modern birds. They had advanced flight capabilities and a keel on the sternum for flight muscle attachment. Neonithes, 70 million years ago. Known as the new birds, they're the direct ancestors of all living birds and emerged during the late Cretaceous period. They showed many features of modern birds, such as a beak with no teeth and the presence of a wishbone. Apodiforms, 50 to 40 million years ago. This order, which includes swifts and hummingbirds, arose during the Eocene epoch. Members of this group are known for their strong flying abilities. Trochilidae, 22 to 30 million years ago. This family of birds, known as hummingbirds, emerged during the Oligocene epoch. They're characterized by their small size, rapid wing flapping rates, and specialized long slender bills for nectar feeding. 